Hello and welcome to another video here on the YouTube channel Spielfriendly Fellowship STF. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my unboxing and review of the Blood Bowl Troll. So uh, this is a kit that I, I just received, been a bit lazy to pick it up at my local uh, game workshop store. So this has been out for a while now, but it is, uh, it is a polarizing model to say the least. Uh, some of these Blood Bowl models are, um, there's like some of the models like uh, the Mighty Zug, uh, not the Mighty Zug, sorry. Um, so about that, my phone just started playing music for no good reason at all. <laughs> Alright, so um, um, quite a polarizing model, as I said. Um, models like the Death Roller for its size and its um, perceived cost. Uh, you have um, models like uh, Morgan Thorg. Uh, also um, Varagulture. Some of these models have not been very well perceived by everyone, um, but I do think the troll might give you a few surprises. Uh, I think it looks quite good. Uh, it might just be the photo they use um, um, for, for the packaging and uh, promotion. Uh, I think some people have put it together and uh, also the 360 shot on the Game Social web page does show it in uh, quite a different light for some people. So I'm only speaking for myself, this is my views and my opinions, so let's get into my unboxing and see you soon. Alright, so here we have the box, um, the box of the uh, Blood Bowl uh, uh, Troll. So as you can see from the artwork, this is the reason why it's such polarizing does a weird like calypso dance thing um and uh and yeah so not many people are impressed by the the way it looks from the photo but if we take a small look inside uh, you can see the spruce so this is where i have seen some oh interesting all right so first off you can see that my sprue has been rather well damaged. Um, so doesn't seem to have really injured my model, um, but it's good to be on the safe side. So it has been broken in two places. This one isn't that bad. Uh, and, but this one did look quite horrible. Luckily, uh, not a piece. I had too much going for it. All right, so it looks looks quite good. So this is what you get inside the box. You get the two sprues and you get a base. The base is slotted. Um, again, funny because the model itself is not slotted at all. So. Um, I do think that it is because of the ball ball pin, but why not do exactly like they do for the four drill models? The four drill models also includes a 32mm base without a slot. So I would rather they did that than um, than just have this one because it's a well it doesn't take that long, uh, but filling this off with masking tape is something I would rather not have to do. Alright, so looking at the model itself, it is um, a bit hard to, to imagine how it fits together once um, once it's all said and done. But looking at the detail, it is what you expect from a game such a plastic kit these days. It has such detail. Um, it is um, by far in my opinion, um, one of the best plastic miniatures manufacturers in the entire world. And that hasn't actually changed for the last like 10 years. Ever since they started doing their, um, their new style sprues with loads more um, components per sprue. Uh, also, the way they inject the, the plastic and the way they actual, uh, actually do the plastic, uh, it means that they can actually now have a uh, mold that has details in for uh, from various size uh, sides so you can have a series undercuts of models where it couldn't before so um, the model itself looking at the instructions 
you, you have a good few pieces to glue on before it's all said and done. And it, it does not look that bad, I think. Um, I would personally rather it was stoic, just like the dumb troll. Um, you could release another one for the goblin team when those arrive. Um, that has um, him throwing a goblin, or the throwing goblin could be optional. But in this uh, sprue, uh, it is only one way to assemble it without heavy, heavy um, conversion. So you, you'll have to um, model it with the throwing goblin. And that's something I really don't want because I like my trolls like big and stoic and dumb. I rarely throw goblins around. So, but I'm pretty impressed with the model itself. The detail is good. Um, so, character aside, um, loads of things can be done. So, I might try to convert it. I might not. We will see how that goes. But, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. I think it's a cool looking model. Uh, it has potential. And uh, and I'll, I'll have to see what I can do with it. So, um, luckily, no damage for my sprue. Um, otherwise, Games with Customer Service is fantastic. One of the best customer services in the world. And uh, I'm sure they would replace it if it was actually destroyed. So, it is not. So, I'll, I'll not contact them for this. It does look to be quite a few flat areas where you could... Um, where you could do symbols. I like to do like Nike or the Spike logo, I call it. Um, a non curved Nike logo. Uh, also, Orchidus, like the Adidas logo. Um, Nuka uh, Cola, we're not on the Fallout universe, that's another miniatures game coming along. Um, we have the, um, the Orca Cola logo I put on my one um, Black Orc blocker. So, um, so yeah. Um, so tell me in the comments what you think about this model. Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you have done differently? Have you converted the model? Um, loads of cool things that we can uh, we can discuss in the comments. Uh, as always, do um, do check out our Patreon in the link below. We are currently looking at renting a YouTube studio to give you more and better content um, all days so of the week. So, uh, so do try to uh, share that as well as um, donate if you can. Some cool perks are waiting for you as well if you do donate um, to us. Uh, and lastly, nothing more to say than comment, like, share and subscribe and support your hobby.